Azerbaijan's attack on Armenia in September, we have seen reports of Azerbaijani forces shooting unarmed Armenians, executing Armenian soldiers, mutilating a female Armenian soldier. Uh, this reports, uh, these reports, I should say, reflect a long history of alleged Azerbaijani war crimes, including during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War. Uh, would you commit, if you are confirmed, to leading embassy efforts to support the documentation of uh, alleged atrocities committed against Armenians uh, during uh, this recent aggression? Thank you, Senator. Yes, I've seen some of the horrific videos coming out recently uh, of the September, and I would uh, do my best to help with any uh, requests the Armenians have to document. Okay. I, I don't want requests from Armenians. I want us to be proactive so we can make a determination. You know, something called Section 907, right, uh, that we waive uh, under the Secretary's ability to waive that lets us send money to Azerbaijan. But we should know whether the Azerbaijanis are committing these types of actions so that we can make a determination whether that Section 907 should be waived or not of the Freedom Support Act. So I want an ambassador who's going to proactively help us determine whether these executions, whether these mutilations, whether these other activities are true or not. And to be able to tell the State Department and this committee that in fact they are, they are not, some of them are, some of them are not, so that then we as policymakers can make a decision. Can I depend upon you to do that? Uh, yes, Senator, and I can go further to say that um, accountability for uh, crimes of this nature are very important to me, and I will work to make sure that there is accountability as well. Thank you.